because they're, they're just very active and they play with great intensity on the defensive side of the ball. This is the guy I think has done as much as anybody is Desmond Bain. I mean, that's what he does well. That got partially blocked. And now running is Bain. And Bain the basket and the foul. You know, his, his, um, his commitment, his motivation, uh, that's just not measurable. Not, not by the analytics. And Heald got it to go. Played on Sunday in their win at Oklahoma City. He had missed 27 games with a left ankle sprain. Earlier in the year, he was out with a hand injury. He's only played 22 games. They said Dylan Brooks took his arm and put it under the defender. And he tried to talk to the official. He was with John Calipari at UMass. Yes. Well, they had Marcus Camby. Yeah, I mean, they had a really good team. Jackson fought for the rebound, but Adams Ooh. got it. He was with John Calipari at UMass. Yes. Well, they had Marcus Camby. Yeah, I mean, they had a really good team. Jackson fought for the rebound, but Adams Ooh. got it. He was with John Calipari at UMass. Yes. Well, they had Marcus Camby. Yeah, I mean, they had a really good team. Jackson fought for the rebound, but Adams Ooh. got it. Long-time member of the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's just a good, solid player. And that's picked off. Jackson running again is Bain, Jones, and Jackson throws it down. Now in Milwaukee. Melton. And it's rebounded by Heed. Heel. This is an Indiana team. In the last 15 games, they have the worst defensive rating in the NBA. And Buddy Heels going to the rack. At home, what you should keep an eye on, if it's not a fast break situation, or if it is, is watch this group get into the paint. Uh, when you watch Memphis. That Buddy Heald has eight to lead the Pacers. Jones gets inside, misses in the paint. Heald has the rebound. That's already his fourth. Lobs it up, gives it to Smith, who puts it in. And the reason that is, Chris, is because he's willing to pass. They know that he'll get it back to him. And Melton flicked it away from Heald and puts it down. Head coach, he said Des is a better person than he is a player. He always did things the right way. People were always doubting him, and he never quit. He's always giving back to the community. Pacers have, have had real trouble getting any kind of continuity into their offense. You know, any kind of flow. Duarte hits the three. First shot made by Duarte. These things all matter. Experience in life is always important. You've got a team in Memphis that's played against uh, Buddy Hill and Halliburton. So they know how they play. You know, one of the top players, young players, and top players in the league. But you've got to have a team full of them. When you said their defense is one of their yeah. calling cards, well, and they have been all over the place. They, they are playing with such energy. Here it pass. Yeah. Got to come corner. Yeah. There you go. Found the shooter. That, that's good action. I got to give John Morant. I mean, not John Morant. Uh, Jaren Jackson's mother actually was his agent. I'm pretty sure. She, she's pretty good. Reset for three off. Buddy Heald kept it alive. Yeah, that's why I said, I, you, you, you got the shot out there. There's no need to go in with Jackson. Pacers had one lead, 22-21. It's been all Memphis. And a host of Pacers getting ready to come in. Duarte. And he lays it in. Yeah, you can see both sides got tired there. Two points off those. I got a foul again. Yeah. Jaron Jackson is averaging double figures in his four-year career. Again, only played 11 games last year and scores with the left hand. Terrific job finishing that. But he healed inside, and that's blocked. Trailblazers, then a week from tomorrow, Sacramento here. So it will be Sabonis, Holiday, and Lamb. And, of course... The two newest Pacers, Heald and Halliburton, who opened the year in Sacramento. You can't give up on his guys. That's why he's at center court, Chris. You can't give up on your guys. Your guys are having a tough night. Yeah. Guys got to know that you, you still believe that there's some way 
that you can get some, something out of it. And it, it helps them if you're standing in a, in a fight for them. And Buddy Heald hits the jumper on the baseline. When you talk about player development, that's where John Conchar fits in, undrafted. And the Pacers get the three from Heald.